What is up, YouTube? This is Quist here, and uh, today I'm going to be playing three of my favorite Atari uh, single player video games of all time, and that is Battle Zone, Aqua Adventure, and Centipede. I'm going to start with Aqua Adventure. Alright. So what I like about this game is there are very little glitches, except for one that I've heard of, that this green fish here will sometimes spread out and just, like, cover the whole screen. I don't know if that's supposed to be part of the game or if it's just a glitch, whatever. It's never happened to me. Uh, but even if it did, I would still really like it. And dang it. Now, I'm gonna be kind of honest. I really don't know what to do after you get the treasure. I mean, I know there's, like, a mermaid jellyfish thing up at the top once you get the treasure. Sorry for this. I should have put up a spoiler alert. I hope I didn't mess up anyone's 20 second gameplay. Anyways, I do know that there is like a little mermaid jellyfish up here uh, once you get the treasure that carries you out if you touch it. I don't know if the, you're supposed to touch it or what. And crap, it's my last life. Alright. I gotta hear... <laughs> Someone failed this much. All right, I'm just avoiding the fish. Go, 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 go. You see that jellyfish thing? I don't know if I'm supposed to go to that or what. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. I don't know if that messed me up or whatever, but. Oh, wait, what? Okay, now I'm just confused. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, by the way. Ah, ah, ah. What? Why? 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 Well. Okay. Now I guess it's time for Battle Zone. Woo! Whenever I'm playing this game, I mainly pay attention to the radar because like that way you know if someone's behind you or not. I really love this game and my dad loves it too. Man, like he grew up on Atari, so. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, this is an Atari Flashback 3. I got it for 30 bucks. Just saying. Oh, yeah. I know probably a lot of you could just, like, distance shot those, but I am not a good sniper in very old video games. Come at me, bro. What I like is the level of thought that went into everything in this game, too. Because there, you very rarely... I mean, look at this. <laughs> well, crap. But, I mean, look at this. Whenever you turn, look, your treads actually do the same thing. Whenever you go forward, they actually do that. You go backwards, they actually do that. There's actually a background. Biscuits, biscuits. What I like is whenever a tank shoots at you, and, uh, well, apparently I died. But what I like is whenever a tank shoots at you and then you shoot the tank, it won't, it, like, the bullet won't disappear. That's a whole lot of level of thought. I mean, just look at everything in this game. It's awesome. It started tank games, and then, I guess, combat just came right along. Combat is amazing. It's a multiplayer tank game on the Atari. It's amazing. If you haven't played it, I really recommend it. It's amazing. Just like Outlaw. Did I just distance shot that guy? That was amazing. Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Okay. 
Well, we're good. Got the guy behind me. That's probably gonna kill me. Oh, I don't. I'm gonna chase this guy. Next. Time for Centipede. I am really good at this game. I really like it. And honestly, it's like one of those Atari games that you're really good at, yet you have no idea what the heck you're doing the whole time. Sort of like in uh, uh, sort of like in Aqua Adventure. You have no idea what you're doing, but it's still really fun. Come on, come on, come on. Get over here. Stop. Ah. Well, I died. That's what all I do in this game is just keep my guns going and just move from place to place at like a thousand miles an hour. Okay. Yep. Yep. Ah. Uh, oh, that was close. Awesomely, awesomely close. Well, I did. All right. Well, now you've seen three of my favorite Atari single-player games, and now I'm just gonna be playing around on some. Yeah, I'm just gonna be playing around on some single players. Well, these two just really confuse me, so I guess no. That one really confuses me, too. That one's pretty cool. Never really played that one. Love that one, but it's multiplayer, but I guess I can play it later. Night Driver, I like it, but I think Fatal Run's better. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play Fatal Run. Oh, wait. Night Grace. I'm really good at maze. Okay, now the first time I ever played this, I like had like the biggest seizure in the world. No. Because like, you know, you're playing, you're just having a peaceful little maze game and all of a sudden <laughs> just so many colors and flashing lights. It's uh, epilepsy. Wait, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, no, never mind. Well, I guess I can do one more. Um... Oh, by the way, this is Combat and Combat 2. I like Combat 2, and I think they made a Combat 3, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they did, though. Better one. Love this game. Even though I die most of the time. <laughs> it's actually really hard to die in this one. You have to, like, stay off the map for, like, three days. I want 200, 200. Yeah, I want 200. 200. This is Sparta! Oh, sweet. Run! What was that? See? Like those games that you have no idea what you're doing half the time. Or what anything is. Hey! Hey! Alright, um. Aww. Oh. You see? Told you it was really hard to die. I like the game over screen, it's pretty awesome. Alright, well guys, I'm going to leave it on the screen, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, stay awesome, and join the Chocolate Army. So remember, stay awesome.